In this video, we are going to render floor plans quickly and easily using Photoshop watercolor brushes. After watching this video, you will be able to render all types of plans. It would be a step by step process, so make sure you watch till the end. Before I share the workflow, let's cover some basics. So first we will be installing and using the brushes. First download the brushes from the link in description. After downloading, open Photoshop and select brush tool by pressing B. Right click, go to the settings icon and click import brush. Now select the file which you have downloaded from the link and click load. Now brushes are loaded. Now go to the window and check brushes and brush settings. Click and drag them to add to their workspace. Under brushes you can see the newly added brushes. Select one of them. Hold alt and right mouse button. Now drag left and right to change the size and up and down to change the opacity. Now to add randomness to the brush, we will go to the brush settings. Now under the shape dynamics, increase the size jitter and the angle jitter slider. Now with every click, brush will change its angle and size. Next we have masking. Masking means to hide partially or completely some part of a specific layer. So to do this, first select the part which you want to see and then click on this mask icon. It will hide rest of the model and show you only the selected part. To learn more about these tools, you can check the link in description of the specific videos. Now let's move to the main part and start rendering the plan. Click and drag images to add. Add new layer and name it as site. Press B to select the brush. Select this watercolor brush. Go to brush settings. Click shape dynamics, increase the size jitter and the angle jitter. It will now change the size and angle with every click automatically. Select a green tone color. Now start painting all over the sheet. Make darker on the borders of the house. Don't worry about if it's getting too dark. We will decrease the opacity later. Now go to the outline layer and select the outside part with the magic wand tool. Right click and select inverse. Go to the site layer and click on mask. Similarly, we will color road and deck. Add another layer, name it as road. Take this brush and add 2-3 strokes over the road. Now go to the outline layer and select the road and mask it. Change the mode of all the layers to multiply. This will allow the shadows and outline to make effect on every layer. Add a new layer as deck. I am selecting deck with the rectangular marquee tool. Brown tone will be perfect for this. Now with watercolor brushes, start painting from edges toward the inside part. We have to delete the color over the chairs. So select the chair with the lasso tool. After selecting, press delete. Shadow seems to be little light, so we will add an adjustment layer of levels over this. Adjust the middle slider to make it darker. Now select the carpet area with magic wand tool. Add another layer, name it as indoor. Press shift and backspace. Choose color. Press ok. Change the mode to multiply and decrease the opacity so we can see the floor through it. Now let's add some trees. We will add trees with the tree brushes. It is a very fast process. So choose the tree brush. Remember to add them to a new layer. So later if we want to adjust the opacity, we can do it. As this tree brush has its own shadow, so its shadow should match with the rest of the plan shadow. So adjust the angle of brush from here. I am rotating it by 180 degree. Choose a dark green color for it and add them of a different sizes. Sight is too dark, so decrease the opacity of it. Now we will add forest around it. So for that, choose a different tree brush. Under brush settings, add some size jitter and angle jitter. 
for this we will add opacity jitter to which will change the opacity after every click add new layer as forest and paint the edges of the sheet adjust opacity of the layer check what suits best for this scene road seems to be little light so to increase the darkness we will add a layer over it of levels move the middle slider to adjust the darkness now hold alt and click between these two layers to clip the adjustment to a layer below it now effect of this layer will only on the one layer below it not on all the layers now after little bit of the adjustment in opacity we will add the final touch to it for this first we will press alt control shift and e at the same time this will merge and copy all the layers to a single layer now go to the filter and select camera raw filter adjust these different parameters to give a final touch to it and then press okay so this is the final result we achieved hope you have learned something new with it share your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to see more architectural content this is i architect signing off